In this coaster review, we have Wildfire, the other Wildfire, not the one at Colmarden, the RMC that is currently closed. No, this Wildfire actually came first. It is at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, and I'll be reviewing it today. This is a B&M sit-down coaster, not a floorless, although if you're short enough, then, I mean, technically your feet are dangling. But actually, it seems like there aren't as many B&M sit-down coasters these days. I mean, really, you have this one, you have Kumba, and then Hulk, and that's it for the U.S. So there's only one of a few of its type. And I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I didn't go in with super high expectations. It kind of looked like a mediocre B&M coaster, but I was pleasantly surprised. This was a good ride. Running through the stats, we have a height of 120 feet, and its drop is actually quite a bit bigger at 155 feet. And really, that just shows how this coaster really bends to fit that terrain. Silver Dollar City is a very hilly area. It's situated in the Ozarks. And because of the land, this coaster has kind of an oddball layout. So you have the drop that's bigger. You actually go straight into an Immelman, followed by a vertical loop, and then you're actually like right up against the ground as you curl into this giant cobra roll. Then again, you're close to the ground, go into this like side banking turn, and then straight into a corkscrew. Then following that, you have a few more twists and turns, and you are done. So there's a total of five inversions. Remember, the Cobra Roll counts as two. And in total, you reach a maximum speed of 66 miles per hour, which I am assuming is at the bottom of the first drop. All in all, there's a track length of 3,073 feet. It's about a two-minute ride duration, including the lift hill. So it definitely isn't the longest ride out there. And part of me does think it would have been nice to throw in another inversion. But it's not really that big of a deal. The ride doesn't feel like incomplete or anything. But let's talk about the ride theming for a bit, because this is cool. So as you go up to the entrance, you have this like pipe-like theming holding up the entry sign. Everything at Silver Dollar City kind of has like an old and rustic type feel, and you're definitely going to get that with Wildfire. As you walk through the queue, you kind of have some cool theming there. And then continuing with the theme, I mean the actual colors of the coaster are this light brown and then like a darker rusted type brown for the supports. I gotta say, that's a nice touch. The color scheme, though simple, really works, and I love how it pops against the green trees in the background. If you're watching this footage, I mean, this is like a pretty iconic ride to take photos of. As you exit the ride, you have this bridge that goes across, and you can just take some awesome photos and videos of this thing. And so the ride really is beautiful just to watch. But does the ride deliver? I think it does, but I think part of that also might have had to do with the fact that I wasn't really expecting much when I went in to ride it. I didn't really do my research on Wildfire. I kind of went in blind just expecting another B&M coaster. And I wouldn't say that this is like the greatest B&M sit-down coaster. From what I've heard, Kumba is the best of its type. But it gives a really satisfying ride. I mean, it's smooth. I'd say you definitely have some forceful moments. If you're in the back row, that first drop, naturally you're going to come up out of your seat going down that thing. If you know me, sometimes I'm not a big fan of Cobra Rolls. This one in particular did not bother me. It just seemed like another element on the ride. Would I have liked to see a different inversion instead of a Cobra Roll? I mean, sure. But I don't know what else they would have done because, again, you have to think back to the landscape, what they're working with. The Cobra Roll was a good way to pack in two inversions in one. In my opinion, if you were to add in another inversion, it would have been kind of cool to throw in like a Dive Loop or a Zero G Roll. But that would have increased track layout and probably made everything more expensive. So, I mean, it's understandable why they went with what they did. So, I think just to talk about it overall, yes, this is a good roller coaster. I wouldn't say that it's, like, mind-blowing. So, I wouldn't say that you should set your expectations super high. If you're looking for a good, solid ride, then I would say that you're going to get it with Wildfire. So, for its final score, I'm going to give it an 8. It's a good coaster. Do I prefer some floorless coasters? I mean, sure, but also you have to think some floorless coasters are going to have a rattle to it. So when you toss this in with the other B&M coasters, I'd say that it holds its own. I mean, it's going to be better than some rides, but naturally you're going to have some coasters that are better than this, and that's totally okay. It's a great coaster for Silver Dollar City. It's a beautiful ride to just sit back and watch, and it's re-rideable, which is always a good thing. So let me know about what you think of Wildfire at Silver Dollar City. And of course, you can check out more coaster reviews here at Coaster Studios. And I do have a bunch more coming in the future. So stay tuned for those and I'll catch you guys later.